Another cool thing you can do is you can actually swipe from the bottom right towards the top to bring up the Google Assistant and that's going to give you easy access to launch the Assistant so that's good as well. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video I'm going to talk about the new gestures found on the Samsung One UI 2.0 with Android 10 and this one is running on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Alright, so right now as you can see we have a back button, we have a home button and we have a recent key button which is the usual norm. But now when we go to the settings, alright, when we go into our display uh, on the top right over here and when we go into our navigation bar, we get the new full screen gestures. Now I do want to let you know when you tap on this one and tap on more options, you also are able to uh, use the swipe from bottom gestures that are already in there even in the One UI 1.1. But this one here is the brand new full screen gestures and let me show you what they are all about. So as you can see right now we only have one line and what we can do is we can pull up and hold to go to the recent apps, all right? Or we can just pull all the way up to go back to the home. And then again, we can pull up from here to bring up the recents again, go inside. And if I have to go back in any screen, in any app, all I do is swipe from the left side inwards to the screen and it's gonna go right back as you just saw, okay? So that's fantastic. Those are the new full screen gestures on Samsung One UI 2.0. And you can also use the uh, swipe gestures. You can swipe between apps at the bottom using this bar. So you can just swipe over just like that between the application and it is super smooth as you can see. And that does feel a lot like the uh, iPhone. And there's a couple more things to uh, note here. If you go to the navigation bar, you are able to actually hide this line at the bottom as well that is kind of giving you a hint that there's a home button here. So if I tap on this one, that is going to disappear as well. So that's fantastic. Another cool thing you can do is you can actually swipe from the bottom right towards the top to bring up the Google Assistant. And that's going to give you easy access to launch the Assistant. So that's good as well. Now let me show you one more thing. We do have new animations when it comes to the actual gesture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to go into my advanced features and all the way at the bottom what I did enable was um, right here actually uh, reduce animation. So let me just disable reduce animations and now let's take a look at how everything looks. It's going to be much better. So look at that. All right. So that's much more beautiful as you are going down home, as you're going back and all that good stuff. So let me bring this up, go back. Go back here. So you have a little bit more animations. Everything feels more smooth. Now this is an initial beta, so it doesn't feel perfect, but it's gonna be refined and it's gonna be super smooth. And hopefully it's gonna be fluid like the iPhone, which is a good thing. All right, so those are the new navigations that we have uh, right over here. Now, if you wanna see the full features that I've made a video for, check the link down below to see all the new features of Samsung One UI and Android 10 on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And you might want be wondering what this is right here, the show button to hide keyboard. Let me show you what that is. So if you enable this, and if I go back home, let's just go to the text message, and let me just pull up the keyboard. What you're gonna see is you're gonna see a button here that allows you to tap it and hide the actual keyboard by tapping that button, all right? So that's fantastic as well. And that's all we have with the new navigation uh, gestures on the One UI 2.0. Drop questions down below and have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.